Darrington Press announces not one, but two tabletop RPGs. Are they the future of Critical Role? Future's now, old man. Today, Critical Role announced a slate of three new games that will be released through its Darrington Press imprint. In addition to a new deck building game called Queen by Midnight by Kyle Shire, who is a producer on Critical Role, Darrington Press also announced two new tabletop RPG systems. The first is Illuminated Worlds, which is designed for shorter arc-driven campaigns and can be used in any kind of setting. This new game is designed by Strauss, Asimovic, and Layla Alderman. The second game is Daggerheart, which is described as a fun and fresh update to the fancy genre of RPGs. Interestingly, Daggerheart is designed for long-term campaign play and features character progression and doesn't have a specific designer attached. More information about both games will be announced soon. Now, it's not exactly a surprise that Critical Role, a media empire built around tabletop RPGs, is making an RPG. In fact, this isn't even the first RPG that Critical Role has announced. Syndicult was a role-playing game that was supposed to come out all the way back in 2021, but has since been delayed. Also, the Tal'Dorei campaign setting Reborn book was an RPG setting book that was made specifically for 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons. However, the reveal that Daggerheart will be a fantasy genre campaign RPG with character progression makes it sound a lot like, well, Dungeons & Dragons, which, you know, is the game that Critical Role currently uses in its various campaigns. Now, during the OGL debacle a few months ago, a popular talking point was that Wizards of the Coast didn't have to worry about Kobold Press or MCDM or Cubicle 7 or even Paizo snatching up a significant piece of their market share. But, if Critical Role entered the arena with a comparable game to Dungeons & Dragons, well, that's where things would get interesting. After all, Critical Role has a huge fan base of tabletop RPG fans, and if the game is good, why wouldn't their fans give it a shot? Now, additionally, if this release of Daggerheart, which again, we don't know anything about, lines up with the start of Campaign 4, the question becomes, could we see Critical Role use Daggerheart in their next full-length campaign instead of 5e or 1D&D? What better platform to promote your new RPG system than using it to run the most popular actual play in history? Plus, Critical Role would finally own every aspect of their show, from the characters to the world to the system itself. Or could this be the long-awaited second tabletop RPG series on Critical Role's channels, a way to give the cast more flexibility and time for their assuredly busy schedules, and also give Critical Role a chance to give more voices and personalities a platform? Obviously, there are a lot of interesting and intriguing pieces at play here. Now, Darrington Press will be at Gen Con, so don't be surprised if we find out more information about these new games in August. Hey, we'll be at Gen Con, so uh, maybe we'll go and ask a few questions. So are you psyched to see what Critical Role cooks up with their new tabletop RPGs? Let us know in the comments section, and don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons.